Now, the material and labor budget. Material budget and labor budgets. Let us discuss both. <clears throat> the material budget is prepared after production budget. Right? Why is it prepared after the production budget? Once you know how many units to produce, you will know how much material can be consumed, needs to be consumed. Yes or no? So, if, if I make 10,000 units and I need one, uh, say, say one pound per unit, then I will need 10,000 pounds. So, material budget is prepared after preparing the production budget. We compute the quantity of material required to be consumed, right students? Then, then, what is this? What is adjusting for inventories to compute the inventory to be purchased? After all, suppose like I said, I need to make 10,000 units. The quantity of material I need is, let's say, 1 pound per unit. Therefore, I need 10,000 pounds of material, clear? But will I purchase 10,000 units of uh, material? Not necessary. If I already have an inventory, if I already have an inventory of let me say 1,000 pounds, then I need to purchase only 9,000 pounds. Yes or no? So I need to purchase only 9,000 pounds. However, however, I am told no, no, you cannot have absolutely no inventory at the end of the month, whatever I am budgeting for, or the year, or the quarter, whatever I am adjusting for. I must keep some closing inventory because production will be continuous. The next day again I have to start production. So they tell me that I must have, I must have an inventory of let's say uh, 1500 pounds. Possible? So I have to make that 1500 also? Yes or no? This is what? This is the budgeted closing inventories. So, 10,500 pounds of material I will have to purchase. Is it clear? Followed? So, material budget is prepared after production budget clear. I have to compute the required quantity of material to be consumed based on, based on uh, my production budget. Then I see what are my inventories. If I, I will deduct the opening and inventories, add the, add the closing inventories. So closing inventories minus opening inventories, whatever that figure is, is added to the material required to be consumed. To arrive at what material to be purchased, purchase quantity, right? Then apply the rate per unit into say, into say at the rate of $20, suppose it is $20, very expensive material, say $20 per unit, <clears throat> per pound, sorry, per pound. Then accordingly, I get the value, I apply the rate to get the material purchase budget. Now, what is the quantity of material to be purchased? The material required for production. Yes or no? Material required for production. That is the material which is to be consumed. The required to be uh, required for production. Add closing inventories. Less opening inventories. <clears throat> now, from the following particulars, prepare a purchase budget for the year when the estimated price per pound of materials are one. 2 and 3 for material A, B and C. So here what do I have? I have a consumption of materials of A 200,000, opening is 20, closing is 25. So obviously 205,000 is what I must be purchasing. Yes or no students? The, the, the formula is clear. Do you remember? Right, it's it's supposed to be uh, estimate consumption is two hundred thousand. So the amount to be purchased would be amount to be consumed plus closing minus opening inventories. <clears throat> so can I say it is two hundred and five thousand of A for B? It will be what less less ten thousand, right? Three hundred thousand thousand plus thirty minus forty, giving me two ninety thousand and 40 
forty thousand will be consumed, but I already have inventories of fifty thousand. Wow, wow! But closing, I need forty thousand. Therefore, thirty thousand. This is material was required to be purchased, mind you. Required to be purchased. This is the material which will be consumed, right? What is the rate? One, two, and three, respectively. Therefore, I will get a value of two hundred and five thousand two ninety and thirty thousand. You will get a total purchase budget if you add it up. With that value, will give you the total. Yes or no? So purchase budget for materials will amount to five twenty-five thousand dollars. <throat> One more, let's try. The following are the estimated sales of X Y Z company for eight months, that is ending on thirtieth November. So April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November. I've got data from April to November for eight months. Okay. The company maintains a closing balance of finished goods and raw materials as follows. Finished goods. The closing stock for the month will be fifty percent of the estimated sales of next month. And raw material. The closing stock will be equal to the estimated consumption of next month. Each unit of production consumes two pounds of raw material, costing two dollars per pound. What are we supposed to do? We are supposed to prepare for the half year ending thirtieth September. Actually, okay. Production budget month wise in unit, raw material purchase budget month wise in units. Followed production in units and cost yes purchase budget i'll have production budget is usually only in units so what will be my production budget <clears throat> it will depend upon it will depend upon units to be sold right plus closing inventory minus opening inventory of the finished goods and what is the finished goods closing stock is 50% of the sales for the next month So this is what we have. The sale units have been given to us as twelve, thirteen, nine, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and twelve. <coughs> so how much do we have? <coughs> Finished goods. We must have closing stock equal to fifty percent of the sales of the next month. So can I say? Can I say I have an opening stock? Of in April, opening inventories, right? Opening inventories I have of six thousand. Why? Because in March I would have had fifty percent of fifty percent of April sales. So there will be in March, mind you, in March the closing inventories. In March the closing inventories was fifty percent of the April sales. What is closing inventory for March? Is opening inventory for? The current month, yes or no? This opening inventory is actually what? Nothing but closing inventory, right? Of previous month, closing inventory of previous month. Six thousand, six thousand five hundred, four thousand five hundred, four. Five, six, seven, and six thousand. I hope this is clear, students. So you have opening inventory. You know the sales. Closing units is going to be fifty percent of the next month sales. Or, or can I say, the opening inventory of May must have been the closing inventory of April. Otherwise, straight away take fifty percent of the next month. Right? Nine thousand, eight thousand, five, six, seven. And six. Remember, this is opening inventory in May means it's closing inventory in April. This is closing inventory in May and therefore opening in June. Closing in June, opening in July. Correct. Therefore, production. You already know the formula. The sale units plus closing six thousand five hundred minus opening units. 
So do I get 12,500? It's actually the difference of these two, right? Only remember closing units have to be added. <coughs> so 12,500. Here it would be 11,000, right? This is 9,500 less 8,500. This is 8,000, 1,000 more, 9,000. This is 10,000 is the same units. I'll need another 1,000 extra, 11,000. 12,000, again another extra 13,000. So this is the power. Our, our production budget has been for 6 months. This, this indicates my production budget. Once I know the production budgets, correct students, this was my production, 12,500, 11,000, 8,500, 9,000, 11,000 and 13,000. Eleven thousand and thirteen thousand. I have also taken for October as thirteen thousand because raw materials is required. <coughs> raw materials I need to keep a, uh, 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 when I purchase the raw materials, I have to purchase next month's requirement. <coughs> next month's requirement needs to be purchased <coughs> because remember, closing stock was how much? Closing stock is equal to, equal to, closing stock of raw material is equal to the amount to be consumed in the next month. So, so can I say what I purchase is also what is required for the next month. What is purchase required next month's requirement? Purchase raw material required have taken uh, 2 pounds per unit. So I've got this is what I need 22, 17, 18, 22, 16, 26, and 26,000 pounds is what I require per unit. Purchase for the uh, next month's requirement. Let's take this 17, 18, 22. It's the same formula students I'm following. What is happening is whatever was, uh, how much is required here? For example, I require 25,000. What must have been my opening stock? Must have been 25,000. Right? What is my closing stock? <clears throat> Should be 22,000. So it becomes 25 minus 25 plus 22. Basically what I purchase mm -hmm. is nothing but next month's. What I purchase is nothing but next month's requirement. Is that clear? I'm applying the same formula. I am applying the same formula. But what happens is in this case, the opening inventory and what is required, opening inventory, in this case, the opening inventory is equal to, equal to material consumed, material to be consumed. Yes or no? So this cancels out. Ultimately, what I end up purchasing is the amount which is required for the next month. Value at the rate of 2 per unit. So are these values right? Absolutely. 2 into 22,000, 2 into 17, 2 into 18, 22, 26 and 26,000. Clear? So this is my purchase budget consisting of these two columns, right? Because it has shows the number of units as well as the cost. Material purchase budget. <clears throat> Let's look at the labor budget. Labor budget is more or less similar. Only now what do you take? Instead of uh, material required, we are talking of the labor hours required. So this is prepared after the production budget. We compute the number of labor hours required. Apply the wage rate per hour or per unit as the case may be to get the labor budget. <clears throat> Now, <clears throat> non-productive hours may also have to be considered. Now, let us look at this. This much is clear. Production we know. Now we know how many hours we need to produce. <clears throat> or we use the standard. 
the standards which have been laid down in order to budget so so compute the number of labor hours required totally how much suppose you need 5 hours for a unit you are making 100 units you need therefore 500 hours as simple as that apply the wage rate per unit and therefore we arrive at a labor budget there may be non productive hours also we pay for the non productive hours that would also have to be considered in the labor budget we should not overlook that point let's look at this example <coughs> what do we have here finished goods beginning finished goods so it's opening inventory you have in the first quarter second quarter third quarter given to you projected sales is given to you as 50 40 120000 the closing units is 4000 12000 and 15000 of course this is same right right because closing here should be opening here closing here should be opening here direct labor are completes 2 units per hour at the rate of 8 per hour. Compute labor hours and labor cost for 3, three quarters. So you know how much is to be produced. That's what I need first. In the first quarter it will be 49,000. Yes or no? It's 50,000 minus 5 plus 4. Yeah. This would be <coughs> 40 minus 4 plus 12. Right? So it would become 48,000 I am thinking, yes or no? <coughs> Similarly, this would be 123,000 is the production units. <coughs> so estimated sales, add closing inventory, less opening inventory, you will get 49,000, 48,000 and 123,000. Correct? This is the production budget. This is production. I have to first find out how many units will be produced. Then, now what do I do? If 49, 48, and 123,000 units have to be produced in each of these quarters. This is what? Quarter 1. This is quarter 2. This is quarter 3. Yes or no? If that be the case, how many hours? It's 2. 2 units can be completed per hour. So I need 49,000 divided by 2, 48,000 divided by 2 and 123,000 divided by 2 would be the number of hours multiplied by 8 per hour and I would get, <coughs> and I will get what? I will get the labor cost. <coughs> Correct? 24,500, 24,000 and 61,500 multiplied by? 8 per hour at the rate of dollars 8 per hour. I hope the math is correct, students, right? <coughs> correct? So, 196, 192, and 492,000 dollars. This is your labor budget. <coughs> so, production. How much is to be produced? We find out first. We so that so that's what we said always. We first need to fix the sales budget. Once we know how much we are going to sell, sell, then we have to adjust for inventories and decide on how much to be produced. Yes or no? What is the material required? How much is what? What? How much? How many units we need to sell? We have fixed from the sales budget. How much we need to produce? We will uh, fix depending on the sales and the opening and closing inventories. Then from there we can go on to finding out the material purchase and the and the labor requirement. Yes or no? 